Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome to something completely new. Train Life is our new game that we're going to be looking at today. A railway simulator, and it is early access. Little disclaimer at the bottom there, this is an early access release of Train Life. The current feature set is limited, but it will be increased as development continues. You will experience issues during gameplay, incomplete features, bugs, game crashes. Marvellous. Okay, well, what could possibly go wrong? Let's jump right into things. Start game. Here we are. It looks very pretty, doesn't it? Uh, we've not got an awful lot of options. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, there's something thundering past there. Look at that. Brilliant. Okay, so new game. Uh, player name. That will be uh, that will be me. There we go. Nationali national nationality. Nationality. I'm assuming it's going to be. Uh, it won't be English, will it? Uh, it'll be United Kingdom. So we'll have to scroll all the way down. Probably to only just discover that it's right at the top, United Kingdom. Uh, it seems to always be the way. United Republic of Tanzania. Uh, oh, there we go. United Kingdom. There we go. Uh, age... I don't know why that's important, but... Uh, oh, right, okay. So we've got uh, we've got a woman or a man. That's our avatar. Uh, company name will, of course, be the Joe Ahead Group. Dot PLC. No, just Joe Ahead Group. We're not a public limited company or a private limited company, either, either, either. Uh, company logo, uh, it's gonna have to be. Ooh, the agony of choice. Um, I like the green and the blue. Starting location, where shall we start? It's gotta be Berlin, hasn't it? I love Berlin. Uh, career options, default, enable tutorial. Uh, I mean, career options? What? Alright, oh, okay. Yeah, just, just default will do. Hang on, I've got rid of all of that now. Oh, terrible. Are you actually having a laugh? I'm going to have to scroll all the way through. Can we Can we not type? No, we can't. Right, okay. But there is a scrolly bar on the side there. Uh, right, okay. Try again. United Kingdom. Yeah, uh, Joe Group, Berlin, default, tutorial on. Right, create career mode. Now, I've watched a couple of videos from other people on YouTube. Uh, not that you should go and watch them. You should watch me, obviously. Oh, already? Oh, the trees are growing. They're very quick, aren't they? So, uh, the conductor's exam, of course, this is obviously American. Uh, so, when they say conductor's exam, they don't mean Joe going up and down his train going, tickets and passes, please. They mean a driver, don't they? Uh, so, I'm going to be a, uh, an aspiring employer. So, you sort of, from what I gather about this game, you run the company and you drive the train. So, it's kind of got a Euro Truck Simulator, Bus Sim 18 kind of a feel to it. You know, you, you kind of do a bit of both. Taurus Bus Simulator, there's, there's quite a lot of games recently that uh, that are kind of going down this route, isn't there? So, uh, yeah, we've not done it with trains. We'll see what happens. So, uh, train control basics. We're using the mouse to look up, down, left, and right. God, it's a train sim world tutorial, isn't it? Uh, so, use the, the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. There we go. Headlights on and off with the T button. Uh... Are they, are they on? Oh, there we go. Right, okay. Well, the headlights are on. Cabin lights on and off by clicking uh, left shift for a radio menu. Oh, right, okay. Cabin lights, yeah, right, they're on. Uh, right, I've, I've done that. Oh, there we go. Turn off your emergency brakes. I don't know why they're on. Uh, right, okay, so W is for the throttle, and the more you press it, the, the more it kind of accelerates. Okay, maximum power, please. Okay, and then we use E to increase the brakes. Should I not take the throttle off? I mean, yeah, okay. Right, so we're stopping now to go to zero. R to toggle the reverser. Uh, increase your throttle again. It doesn't actually tell you how, but I mean, from watching other people, S takes your throttle off and D takes your brakes off. So we're, we're in reverse, are we? Hang on, nope, that's brake. So R puts you in reverse or not. It's it's kind of like driving a car. So if we, there we go, we're, we're off backwards again. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it, it doesn't kind of, oh right, hang on, emergency brakes. So we, we press that and we, we yeah. Uh, the physics are quite questionable. Toggle the railroad switch direction with Q to take the right track instead of the left track. Increase your throttle a little to drive through any switch. Feel free to play around with changing direction and driving through them even in reverse. Right, so we take the emergency uh, brake off and then we, we do a bit of that. There we go, we're off. 
Uh, yeah, it, it feels that, you know, that driving a train, it's, it, I mean, we've played train simulators before, we know how it works. Okay, we'll just ease off a little bit there. Um, so hang on, what am I meant to do? Uh, feel free to play around, changing direction, driving through them, right, we'll, we'll brake. Use C to cycle through the cameras, there we go, we've got a hood, we've got outside. I mean, I, I like the train, the train's nice. I'm, uh, I, I have no textures on my, oh no, I do have textures in my face. I look nothing like my avatar that I've just selected. Right, okay. Look around, identify the throttle lever, power lever, there we go. So there we go, that, that's doing that. And then where's the brakes? So the brakes there. Ah, right, so you, you can literally, you can drag it yourself. Clever. Right, okay, drag that off. Drag the, ah, there we go, right. Nice and easy. I can, I can kind of, I can work a train, brilliant. Uh, yeah, what I was on about, it's it's kind of difficult in terms of the the gameplay side of it. The, the trains are heavy, aren't they? They're meant to be heavy, and they don't feel very heavy at the moment, but maybe it will when I've got some passenger carriages on. So, driving and rules. Drive forward to the service centre and press F to enter it. Right, uh, okay, so we'll turn the emergency brake off, and we'll, we'll throttle our way up. Now, uh, the speed seems to be 50 kilometres an hour, but it looks like it's going to 40. What I will give it though is the sounds are fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm loving the sounds at the moment. They're very good, aren't they, really? Uh, the, the temptation to, uh, to go back to the train sim control, uh, which maybe I will eventually change. Maybe I'll change the mapping so that we're, we're, you know, we're using train sim controls. But, uh, right, okay, so we're going on a crossing loop. Oh, no, that's reverse. What's... So Q is the point, so we'll, we'll go left. They're both blue, and from what I gather, um, if there's a wrong way, the points will light up red, and the correct way will light up green. There we go, we'll, we'll do a bit of coasting now. That horn sounds amazing, doesn't it? And, I mean, I, I don't know if this, is this based on a real, a real live train? I mean, th this is. Oh, hang on. How do we... I want to cycle through. There we go. That one. Let's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty, isn't it? It's, I don't know if it's based on a real life train, but it's quite nice. Let's, uh, let's go back to see. We'll, we'll see what we're doing. There we go. Bit of, uh, bit of throttle up to the, uh, I mean, the service centre seems to be, yeah, service centre. There we go. Pop a bit of braking on. We'll, uh, we'll go for a nice smooth stop at the service centre. So F to enter the service centre and you need to, yeah, you slam some brakes on there, we're about to go whizzing into the door. There we go, right, F to enter the service centre. So we're in the service centre now, here we are. Uh, we can fix everything, we may as well, doesn't cost us anything, the train condition is maximum in green. Uh, repair, yep, yeah, that's absolutely fine. That's, uh, yeah, the repair and refuel tab, I've, I've done that. Yep. You can repair the train. Yeah, okay. I've, I've done it. I, I have done that. Oh, hang on, sorry. Refuel. There we go. Refuel all. So that's cost us a lot of money. Uh, reverse train direction. There we go. Uh, we've done that. Drive along the route and stop in front of the sign. Uh, signal inside the highlighted green area. Take note of the signs and signals indicating changes in speed of upcoming railway features. Observe how the left hand track is occupied by a broken down locomotive and is therefore blocked. Okie dokie, right, off we go. Uh, yeah, back to the game. So we're literally off now, aren't we? Right, we'll, we'll take that off. Emergency brake off. And, and full power, because we've got to go. Do we, do we go and rescue a train? Do we? I don't know what we do, but we're, we're full powering. Oh, did we have some wheel slip there? I mean, there's a lot of symbols that kind of don't really tell you what they mean. There we go. We'll, we'll just ease off. I mean, look at that. That's that's pretty good. I'm 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 loving this. It's from what I've kind of experienced. I mean, we've been playing it ten minutes now. So can I really make a, a good judgment after ten minutes? I don't know. You tell me. Um, it's enjoyable. I'm, I'm quite. I'm having a bit of fun with this. 
do would I play this game necessarily? I'm, it's a bit early for that, isn't it? But would I at this moment in time would I play this game if I wanted to drive a train? You know, if I wanted a realistic train driving experience, <laughs> leave it with me. Um, but it's good fun. It, it is good fun. I'm, I'm, you know, th this could. I mean, it has a lot of potential. Come on! Oh, there's uh, oh, there's a big hill in 300 things. I, I didn't. Was it 300 meters? Oh, hang on! It's gone down to 30. Right, let's let's slam a bit of braking on there. So uh, right, so now we're going downhill again. Yeah, it it picks up speed a little bit quickly. There we go. We'll we'll have another notch of brake. We'll just keep going. I am speeding a little bit. Let's try and get that down below 30. Because apparently you can actually be penalised. You can be fined for not following the rules. Uh, which is quite good. It's good that there's a deterrent. Uh, now we're coming around the corner now. We're rounding the bend. Uh, you will see this, gr this, this green splat on the floor. You'll be looking at that thinking, well, no, the train's green. That's a blue splat on the floor. Uh, well, this is where they want you to stop. Even though it says stop inside the highlighted green area. Uh, what they mean is the blue area. There we go. So nice, smooth stop there. Look at that. Brilliant. Divert around the locomotive by changing the switch direction. Make sure your switch direction is set to the right. There we go. That's done. And uh, drive past the broken down locomotive. Right. Okie dokie. How are we wheel slipping? We're going downhill. An approaching train has been spotted. Well, it would have been, uh, because, yeah, but we're going to the right, so it doesn't matter. I mean, the flashing red, it kind of doesn't really tell you what the signals mean. I mean, red, flashing red would normally be, a, oh my god, we've got to stop immediately, something's not right. Uh, but on this game, flashing red seems perfectly acceptable, so we'll, we'll roll with it. Um, uh, the broken down train appears to be, uh, appears to be very similar to mine, if not the same, my little shunter. I mean, that, that is what this is, isn't it? It's a shunter. Uh, continue driving until you reach the service centre. Oh, right, okay. I'm, uh, I'm kind of wondering, there's, there was no points to come on this line or come off, so this is literally just two service centres at either end. There we go, we'll ease off a little bit. Uh, so we drive all the way up to the service centre. I mean, I love the uh, I love the mini map in the bottom left corner. I've never had a mini map on a train simulator before. I think that, <laughs> I don't know why. I just think it's very uh, it's just a funky little you know it's good. I like it. Right, so we'll we'll ease it down now. We'll come in for a nice uh, a nice stop. I'm trying not to use the emergency brake too much because you you do get bollocked in real life if you. Uh, if you use the emergency brake too much. Scenario complete. Right, next, uh, next, next thing. Where are we going next? Saving content? Please do not exit the game. Well, hopefully we won't. So, in this tutorial, you will learn how to deliver a contract from one station to another. Firstly, you need to select a contract from the nearest station. You can use the radio for communicating with the stations. Open it with A. Because that's a sensible hotkey. I mean, I don't know why R couldn't be for... Uh, well, R's for reverse, isn't it? So, radio A. Uh, the nearest station is a forest. Forests produce logs that can be transported to a sawmill. So, it's kind of got an element of transport fever in it as well, hasn't it? You know, like industries you, you take things to. Mm, okay, fair dues. So, one for forest. Uh, proceed to services. Take contract. Select the only available contract and choose take automatically. Okay, so three for services. Three for take. Two for contract. And, uh, oh, hold on. Forest Salzgitter 6SG6 here. What contracts are for taking? Forest here, we have one contract available. Which are you interested in? Well, you know, with, with one contract, we've not got an awful amount of choice, have we? There we go. Uh, the reward is 1,000 things. I mean, in the top right, we've got 100,000 of them. So, uh, yeah, take automatically. Right, there we go. Uh, notice how the dwarf signal that guards the station entrance changed to a green colour. I hadn't been looking at that, I'm not going to lie. Um, now, proceed. I mean, I'm assuming the dwarf signal is that thing on the right. 
Now proceed to the station stop when the coupling decoupling zone icon activates. Right, okay. Uh, right. Let's, uh, right, so the, the points don't seem to give us a, you know, you can kind of, can kind of do, do either either. Right, okay. Let's, let's go for it. You're applying the bricks there, that's it. Uh, yeah, you're not going to go very far with, with the bricks on, are you? Stop when the coupling decoupling zone icon activates. I, I don't really know. So proceed to the station forest. Is that where this blue thing is? Yeah, okay. So we stop at the blue arrow. There we go. Do we do we stop now? And then you you have to ask them, don't you, if you can go in the station. Right, okay, so forest. Um query information. That's not what we wanted. Services. Station access. Forest is now awaiting your arrival. You may freely use our facilities. Right, okay. So where do we So we need to go to the right? Maybe you you kind of I'm I'm at a bit of an advantage here because I have watched other people play this game. Um, but it has to be said from me just looking at this now, I'm not really very clear on where I should be going and what I should be doing. You know what I mean? I mean it says it, it stop when the coupling decoupling zone icon activates. Yep, that's all well and good. But how would I know to go left or right there, or does it not matter? There we go. Um, I mean, is it up ahead? Can we can we see that? Oh, we can go in on either. Right. Okay. You could probably do this quicker. I'm not going to lie. But it's not all about how fast you do it, is it? You know, I mean this. We operate a safe railway here. Safety is our maximum priority at the Joe Ahead Group. You know, efficiency, everything I do is not particularly efficient. So, uh, right, there we go. Let's let's stop here. I mean, it, it doesn't say it's illuminated or is, is red illuminated. Do I have to get closer? Okay. Right, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Uh, perform coupling with the U button to take the contracted wagons. No wagons to decouple. Eh? You. Uh, are they are they there? No. You. Why is it perform couplings with the U button? I, I've done that. Three. Oh, do do I have to take contract? Three wagons to the sawmill. Take automatically. Right, okay. Now I press you. There we go. Right, okay. I hadn't taken the contract. Use the service centre to turn the train around and drive straight to the sawmill. So we'll bang it in reverse. And we will take the brakes off. And we'll go backwards. Now, I don't, I don't really feel kind of happy about going backwards here. I mean, I can see out the back, so that's fine. But I mean, in, in my line of work, if, if they just slap the train in reverse and off you went, you'd be, oh, you'd be chastised for that. Right, hang on, right, take the brakes off. Whoa, 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 hang on, that's the throttle. Wrong button. There we go. I don't know if you can just whack it backwards at 40 miles an hour. Uh, kilometres an hour, that's something we're going to have to get used to. We are in Germany, so we need to get used to the, uh, the whole 40 kilometres an hour. We're not in miles an hour today. So we need to be going to the track to the left now. It was a bit of a waste of time. I mean, I, I can't see from the map. If, if I press this escape, no, okay. There we go. We'll pop a bit more braking on. There we go. Do we have to be stopped before we take it out of reverse? Yes, we do. Right, okay, Q. Forwards. So we're going to the left now. And, uh, yeah, I have noticed that with the uh, with the wagons on, it doesn't accelerate as fast. So, you know, that's a good thing in terms of the physics. It did also say that you've got to be careful not to derail. So I'm assuming that that is something that can happen if you drive particularly badly. 
There we go. Right, we'll take all that off. I mean, the, the tracks are not particularly smooth, are they? They're a bit lumpy. You know, they're kind of like... They're a bit jerky left and right. You kind of think if you ran a train over this in real life, you'd probably derail it. And for some reason, we've got some overhead wires just here. You know, the rest of it hasn't got wires. But this... Oh, or has it? Oh, it does have wires. Have I just not been paying attention? Okay, fair dues. So this is the service centre. I think we need a bit more than that, but it's wheel slipping. We don't want to go whizzing into the service centre. I've, I've not crashed a train yet, touch wood. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of hoping that we're not going to do that. There we go. Right, stop. Enter the service centre. There's quite a lot to pick up on this. You know, there's quite a lot of information to take in in quite a short space of time. Right, so we turn the train round. The, the wagons aren't here. That's fine. The loco is the only one that's shown here. Right, so we're out. Have we still got our wagons attached? Yes, we have. Brakes are on. Brakes are coming off. There we go. Emergency brake is off. And off we go. They seem to use the emergency brake like the handbrake on this. Uh, which, which takes a bit of... Uh, yeah. Right. Full steam ahead. Even though it's not steam. A full diesel ahead. So we're off to the sawmill. We're off at 40 kilometres an hour. That is the line speed now. Um, now the track says that we're going to the left. So we're going to go to the left. Just on the premise of... I mean, it's a crossover, but I think of, of both tracks, is it going to become single track? I don't really know. I guess you kind of will learn the routes as you go along. There we go. Way straight across. You can only imagine the, the carriages. I mean, they're not really making a noise, but you can imagine they're going to do to do to do to do Right, flashing greens, that... I mean, on the East Coast Main Line, that meant you could do 140 miles an hour. Uh, I don't imagine we can do 140 miles an hour with uh, with our current carriages. Hang on, am I not... If, if we're in Europe, am I not on the wrong side of the track? Should I not be on the other side? God, it's like London Underground. The, uh, the speed limit changes as soon as the loco goes past it. That's... Uh, yeah, brilliant. So we're off to the sawmill. I mean, I don't know, if you listen to that, it kind of sounds like a double-decker bus with a ZF gearbox at speed. You know, if you've ever been on a on a Gemini of some description, a Volvo Gemini with a ZF, it kind of has that high pitch, kind of whiny scream. Right, you no longer have access to the forest. Use the radio again to announce your arrival at the sawmill. Okay, service, uh, hang on. Nearby stations. Right, I can't do that yet then. Oh, hang on. We're going uphill. Let's uh, let's have a bit of throttle. Right, so sawmill. Uh, query information. Uh, no, station access. It's awaiting your arrival. You may proceed through the entry signals. Ah, whoa, hang on, hang on. Let's have a bit of braking. Bit more braking. There we go. I don't know what's kind of, uh, yeah, the, the, this is having a bit of a fit. The next speed limit is 50 kilometres an hour. D w you know, it'd be quite nice if you told me where that was. Okay, so use the uh, radio to announce our arrival, sawmill, uh, services, deliver, contract. Three wagons from the forest. Uh, we are waiting for it. Do you prefer automatic or manual delivery? Uh, when delivering manually, you'll be required... Right, okay, let's deliver manually. Let's, uh, yeah, let's let's do a bit of manual delivery, so we have to go to a specified track. I, I feel that that's a bit more realistic, don't you? Right, so the 50 is here, obviously. The uh, the yellow signs indicate the 50. We've got a, we've got a, a, a warning signal.
Don't know what the S means. Does that mean a signal? Does that mean we need to stop? We'll, uh, we'll pop a bit of breaking in. Uh, right, hang on. Nope. Yeah, right. It doesn't actually say which track we need. There we go. So we're, we're just plodding along. So we've got a junction coming up. Are you are you actually going to tell us, you know, kind of what junction or which, which track you'd like us to go on? Well, I think it's going to be the right one. Which, that's not the button. Right, so we're, we're going right. Why are you not telling me anything? Proceed to the station sawmill. Okay. Ah, right, now you're telling me. So, obviously it says that green is right. And now I need to go left. So we press Q, it's gone from red into green left. That's fine, right, I can cope with that. I didn't think it was going to tell me. I thought it was like, I'm not going to tell you. You can work it out for yourself. Right, there we go. I'm quite enjoying this, you know. It's it's quite leisurely. You've not got the... Uh, I mean, it's, it's 9 o'clock in the morning, supposedly. You don't seem to have the... Uh, the stress, the pressure of uh, of driving proper big trains. This just seems like quite a nice leisurely, you know, you pot around at your own speed. I don't think I have to go all the way down to the end, do I? Because I'm only a little short, stubby train. There we go. So if I stop here, what do you think to that? Okay. Decouple with a U. Yep. Um, enter. Decouple. The scenario is complete. Well, hey, we've done the tutorial for cargo. What's next? Something passengery? I mean, passengers is where it's at. I'm liking the fact there's an ICE 3 there. There's also a picture of an ICE 4. So that suggests we're going to have a, a couple of different high speed things to play with. Uh, right, in this tutorial, you'll learn how to deliver passengers from one station to another. Start by going to the nearest service centre. Right, okay. Add in some passenger wagons? But this looks like a multiple unit. Oh, it's, it's literally just a two-car multiple unit. It's a bloody ugly two-car multiple unit. Is this based on a real train, I wonder? Uh, right, okay. Let's have a bit of power. Wow, this is a lot quicker. The uh, Yeah, the, the speeder screens are, are a bit... Uh, oh, hang on. Enter service centre. Hang on. No, 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 no. Right, stop. Yeah, right, okay. Um, yeah. Hang on. It said enter service centre, didn't it? Do I have to ask permission to go into the... Hang on, so where are we? The, the end of... Query information. No, okay, we don't have to do that. That's fine. And break off. Off we go. So we're, we're straight into the service centre. So the service centre looks like it's probably going to be... That's the service centre, isn't it? There we go. So we'll, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to the right and into the service centre. There we go. We'll, we'll toggle the radio off. In career mode, you would have been fined £500. You do not have permission to be here. Leave and request access. That's annoying. So if I tootle down here... Oh, that's, that's a bit, uh, yeah. Don't know what happened there. So if I tootle down here, you're not going to let me in the service centre, are you not? Is that, is that how this works? You didn't really tell me, though. Perhaps I did that a little bit quick. I don't like this requesting access to stations. That is a, a kind of a feature that I'm not a lover of there. Right, hang on. So we're not leaving. We'll just go in the service centre. There we go. So, we've not got a broken train. Uh, we don't need to refuel because it's on uh, electric mode. Adding wagons. Right, what can we have? We can have postage wagons or passenger wagons. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to deliver passengers. Service centre edits of passenger wagons. 
uh, you need a locomotive, it's not a locomotive, it's a multiple unit, uh, as well as the proper game mode, which can be selected from any service center. Right, okay. Uh, so we'll, we'll add two passenger wagons. Okay. Just passenger. I reckon a four car... Let's have a five car train. So we've got three in the middle, one at the back. Reverse the train direction. Yep, back to the game. It's, it's, hang on, M. Nope. Right, so there we go. So if I come back outside now and click the C button. Oh, we, we have a five car multiple unit. There we go. Look at that. I mean, it's it's nice, isn't it? That It's very pretty. Sort of. If you, if you don't look at it from the front, it looks nice from the side. It's kind of a DB logo, isn't it, that we've, we've got going on there. Like, sort of a semi-fictional. Right, anyway, M. So this is how we go to the Root Planner tab. Uh, open it and go to the Root Planner tab. Where is that? Root Planner. There we go. You can set up your route by selecting stations on this map. Selected stations will be aware of your route and will take it into account in their timetables. If you want, you can also click Apply to GPS to have this route stored in your map and minimap. Okay, so we select Theandorf South and Theandorf North. Okay. Open the station communication and contact the station. Select services and passengers boarding to announce your arrival. Right, do I... Oh, I click apply to GPS so we know where we're going. This is just so wrong. Right, okay. So we go uh, Theandorf South. Services. Passengers boarding. So I want to deliver and pick up passengers. We are waiting for you. Go to the station and proceed to the indicated track. Over. I like the over. That's uh, that's a good thing. Although I didn't say over. Uh, I just said I wanted to pick up passengers. Why are we not... Oh, there we go. Right. Power! So, change the routing. So we're going to the left, because that's in the green. It's a bit rapidly like a bus. Did they record the sounds for this game from buses? Yeah, it does kind of sound more bus rattly than trains. Right, so, we will come all the way down here. I mean, look, the, the track's a bit jaggedy, look, there we go. Track's a bit jaggedy, isn't it? It's kind of... I'm thinking like Microsoft Train Simulator. Right, there we go. So, we are here. Now, we can click this little button. I learnt this from Colonel Failure, actually. Switch cabin. And it's like a multiple unit. You're looking the other way now. Look at that. Uh, right, Q, right. Hang on, I don't want to go to the right. I want to go to the left. Do I have to request uh, station access? The end of south. Query information, no. Nope. Services, station access. Is now awaiting your arrival. You may freely use our facilities. Right. Let's just go backwards a little bit, because I think I need to go over those points a little bit. There we go. Right. Stop. Take it out of reverse. There we go. No, it's still saying I need to use the right track. Okay. Well, we'll do that then, if, if that's what you reckon. There we go. Well, uh, I reckon it's going to try to send me back to the service centre and I need to press Q at the last possible minute. There we go. To the left. Right. Power. Straight into the station. I mean, that that's all well and good. I'm hoping it will have the route. You won't have to always set the routes yourself because normally I'd be coming in at about this speed and you really wouldn't have the time from one point there to the other set of points to change the route, would you? No, you just wouldn't. It would be too fast. So you'd have to slow right down. I also don't like the idea of radioing ahead. You know, just let me set my route up, you know, let me manage my route and then just set the points up for me. You know, the, the train driver doesn't actually do that in real life. Okay, we'll have a little bit of 10% braking. We'll go right into the terminus station. I don't know how the tracks on the minimap supposedly carry on after this. There's, there's a big station building in the way. Right, 
There we go. We'll, we'll stop right at the block end. There we go. Uh, enable the emergency brakes and open the doors with V to start boarding. Systems will remain blocked. All right, we're boarding passengers now. Okay, let's have a look. Are we? Uh, yeah, are they? Are they getting on? Do the doors open? In such a modern game, surely the doors should open. Right, hang on. So we're. Uh, right, we'll swap to the other end. Close the doors from the radio men. Uh, the radio menu, or by pressing V. There we go. V. Some trains have two locomotives or reverse-facing cabins. If so, they can drive in both directions with better visibility, i.e. a multiple unit. Uh, so press the switch cabin. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, we've done all that, we've done all that. That's fine. Uh, okay, but we have to do it anyway. And then we have to swap back again. Right, okay. I'm, uh, I'm doing this a bit quick for the tutorial, obviously. Drive straight to the next station. Okay, emergency brake off. Or parking brake. And off we go. 50% power. So we uh, we need to press Q to get on the right set of points. And we're going up to 50 kilometres an hour. There we go. We'll, we'll just cruise out the station. I mean, this, this does have so much potential. I mean, the amount of DLC trains that they could potentially add. I mean, look at how many trains Deutsche Bahn have. They have quite a few, don't they? Um, there's, there's so many, so many trains that they could have. There's either free add-ons, DLC add-ons. Um, again, would you drive this over Train Sim World, Train Sim 2020, whatever we're on now? I don't know, to be honest with you, for, for realism, but it's a fun little game. And if you've got a, a wide variety of trains you can add to your fleet, I'm all for that. That's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good indeed. I mean, 50 seems a little bit quick for this corner. I'm not going to lie to you. There we go. We're, we're losing power. Or we're losing speed. So we'll just add a little bit to uh, to add. Or to, to offset the hill. It is very Bus Sim 18, isn't it? I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because Bus Sim 18 did a lot of things well. Um, I just... I, I, we're definitely going to stick with this. Oh, hang on, we're speeding. There we go. We're definitely going to stick with this, because, I mean, this is only the tutorial, isn't it? So we're, we're going to see kind of where we go after this. What's this? Is this a uh, 60? Yeah, 60 kilometres. Right, get that power up. There we go. Straight up. You no longer have access to Theandorf South. Right, so let's, uh, let's go to Theandorf North Services. Uh, station access. Can we have access? Is now awaiting your arrival. You may proceed through the entry signals without stopping. Okay. Q for the, to select the uh, the correct set of points. So we've got flashing yellows, and then we can go to eighty. Wow. Look at that. Now, the next speed limit is 60, so we, we need to really start slowing down now, don't we? Or is it at the end of this? It, it doesn't tell you where the speed limit changes down, so you you kind of like, right, okay. Uh, yeah. There we go. These uh, these controls are going to take a little bit of getting used to. They really are. I, I keep going for the train sim controls. There we go. Straight back up. It also slows down a little bit too fast. I've got no braking in now. And look, you see, it, it's, it is very kind of like I'm driving a road vehicle rather than a train. These will coast, obviously, for a lot longer. There we go. So next speed limit is 50 kilometres an hour. 60 feels... A bit too fast to be going round here, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, that we should have some flange coming round a corner at this speed. There we go. Keep it up at 60 if we can. You know, we're running an efficient service. I, yeah, for it, I feel like you can kind of potter around while you're shunting in, in in yards. Passengers, you need to be more efficient with passengers. There's, there's just no ifs and no buts. Right, so we're going left. 
I don't know why we're going left. Why are we not staying on the right? Europeans drive on the right. Why can't we stay here? Hang on. Oh, you've cocked up there. Oh, emergency brakes. Oh, hey, all the passengers have gone sailing through the windscreen. Uh, right, yeah. Brakes off. Go backwards. You're not paying attention to your tracks in the bottom left. So we're, we're whizzing off towards the... Uh, I mean, this is such a no-no, isn't it? There we go. Stick a bit of brakes on. There we go. Q. Get it out of reverse. Straight into full power. I know there's a bit of wheel slip, but we're, you know, we're in a rush now. The sounds do sound very weird on this, don't they? I mean, no, oh, I don't like that track. It's too Microsoft Train Simulator. Okay, so Thiendorf North. Thiendorf North. Do we just stop anywhere? Oh, it's a terminus. It's not a very long section of track, is it? I'm assuming this is some sort of fictional. There we go. Uh, emergency brakes on. V to open the doors. There we go. Done. Close the doors. Scenario complete. Right, go to the career mode. Congratulations, engineer. We've done it! Your conductor's exam with flying colours. Well, you driver's exam. Take to the rails of Europe without me watching over your shoulder. Oh, that's good. You were irritating me. You'll prefer the reprimand for driving slowly as opposed to hitting other vehicles or breaking any laws. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get the... We're not going to get told off for driving slowly, are we? Or maybe I will if I'm not paying attention. There are others like you, all looking to make a dent in the market and transport what they can. As your company and experience grows, you'll be able to hire some of them to work for you. Okay. Like during your exam, the cities across Europe are constantly in need of all kinds of resources and goods. And more than that, there are thousands of people in parcels awaiting transportation between cities. If you and your employees help out enough, I've heard that cities give them more accommodating companies preferential treatment. Oh. Consider that a tip from the third. A bribe. I'm repeating it, right? I've seen a lot of students over the years, but I've got to admit that you're graduating at an exciting time. Well, he's not going to say you're uh, graduating at a crap time, is he? Okay, so there we go. That is the tutorial for uh, for train life, a railway simulator. I'm feeling really positive about this, you know. Um, I don't think it's going to be the next trends in world, you know. I don't think it's going to out outdo that, personally. But I think it's going to give us quite a few hours of enjoyment. Oh, look, we're at Berlin Warehouse. Uh, you know, so I really do. Let me know in the comments what you think, of course. So, you know, is this the sort of thing you think, oh, I've never heard of this, I'm going to rush out and get it immediately. Um, and, of course, if you've enjoyed the video today, make sure you click that like button and subscribe if you want to see more train life, because we're definitely revisiting this, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, who knows. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.